what's up everybody today we are going to be trying one of the queen and overlords of the vegan realm tabitha brown's deviled eggs this is gonna be a relatively quick recipe because I'm gonna be in London in two days. I would love any recommendations or videos you guys would like to see while I'm over there. I'm gonna bring my vlogging camera so we can try like vegan options at London McDonald's or whatever. Whatever comes to mind. If there are any like hot spots for vegans in London, please let me know. But anyway, I'm like kind of in the middle of packing and stuff, but I didn't wanna miss this week's video. So this would be a, probably a quicker recipe, but just because it's small does not mean it will not be mighty because it, we're trying Tabitha Brown's vegan hard-boiled egg recipe. We're making vegan hard-boiled eggs out of mushrooms. Happy New Year's to you guys. I hope you're feeling refreshed and inspired and excited for what is to come. I personally spent New Year's Eve in with the two girls, Aria, Carlac, and Asterian. Baldur's Gate has me in an absolute chokehold at the minute, so the fact that I'm even shooting this right now is kind of a miracle upon this earth. We did Tabitha Brown's vegan mac and cheese video a few weeks ago, and you guys loved it. I loved it. It was a sensational recipe, and I don't use that word lightly. It was incredible. So we're giving another Tabitha Brown recipe a try. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this one looks kind of funky. It looks like it could be divisive, let's just say. I don't know. I will say the thing about this recipe, I was never a big deviled eggs person. The craziest part about this is that we're going to be using a mushroom as the egg white, and then we're going to be doing like a chickpea base for the yolk. So I think it'll be interesting nonetheless. I'm definitely excited to try it. I'm just, I have some worries and some doubts. Now, Tabitha's the best, and I will say in this TikTok that Tabitha posted. She had testimonials at the end. One of them was Monique and one of them was Eva Longoria. And they both seem to absolutely love these vegan hard boiled eggs. So the first thing we're gonna do is take some mushrooms. We're gonna remove the stems from these. You can use white button mushrooms or you can use baby Bella. I don't think it really makes that much of a difference, but we're going to go ahead and add them into some pickle juice. We're gonna let them marinate in there. And we're gonna add in a little bit of black salt, also known as Kala Namak, also known as the fart bag. This thing smells so bad. It's just so sulfuric, but that's like why it makes it impart egg flavoring or essence of egg onto whatever it's added to. So go ahead and add some black salt right there into your pickle juice. And we're gonna let these mushrooms marinate. Mine are already marinated, so we can set these aside for now. And we're gonna go ahead and make the yolk. Now the base of this yolk is chickpeas. Okay, so the first thing she does is just to kind of blend up the chickpeas, just break them up so they're a little bit more crumbly. There are no measurements for this recipe either, but we're gonna eyeball it. Tab loves to let us find the way. All right, now I only have like three mushrooms in there, so I'm not gonna use the whole can of this. And I'm gonna just process these, blend these up a bit. Getting these out of here is probably gonna be a little annoying. All right, but I'm gonna try to get you out of there. Every time I put chickpeas in a blender, I just think of the chickpea cookie dough I made that one time. It was like good, but it's just the chickpea flavor never went away. It didn't fully leave. It was haunted by chickpeas. The nice thing about that, the nice thing about this is that it will have more protein than maybe other hard boiled egg substitutes because we're using beans, so that's cool. All right, so now we're gonna add in some mustard. How is that open again? I swear I closed it. All right, we're gonna add in some mayo. Again, no measurements, so we're eyeballing this one. We're gonna add in some relish. This is like kind of fancy relish. I don't think that'll be a problem. It's like holiday relish that came in a holiday gift box from my grandpa. And I don't know what else I'm gonna use it for, so I'm gonna use it for this. If anything, it'll probably make it even better. Then we're gonna add some garlic powder, dill. I actually have fresh dill as well. Some salt and some pepper. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of turmeric for the color so it's a little more yellow, but not too much because that flavor is powerful. I'm gonna stir this up. And finally, we're gonna open the fart bag one more time and add some black salt in there. Just a little bit goes a long way. The desulfur is nasty. It, it's, it's pretty nasty. What is this really for? Like, what is the history of this? Whatever. Mix that up. Oh yes. So a wave of egg just hit me in the face. Appropriately with a little rooster plate. Well, roosters don't lay eggs, but you get the idea. It's close enough. 
All right. Oh, oh, they feel weird after having been in here for a while. We're about to have some friends over <laughs> to smell like farts in here. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> so then we just plop the filling right on top and I'm gonna save the rest to make a nice little wrap for myself. Okay, I mean, these look pretty good, you know? The mushrooms are brown, but probably if you used like a white mushroom, white button mushroom, it might look more eggy. It's all like kind of stinky stuff. It's like pickle juice, garbanzo beans, and sulfur. I'm a little nervous about this, between the like slimy mushroom and the fart <laughs> mixture. Let's just try it. Trying to see past the mushroom texture because the mushroom is freaking me out a little bit. I like the filling, like the filling is tasty and it's definitely giving deviled egg, but I'm not crazy about the mushrooms. I don't know if mine like were just in there for too long. They freak me out a little bit. It's not like it's bad. It's just a little creeping, creeping me out a little bit. Let me say this. The mushroom creeps me out a little bit, but this yolk mixture is really tasty. So I think that combined with the fact that I was never a fan of deviled eggs in the first place, maybe they're accurate because I don't love it. But people that really miss deviled eggs will probably like it. I wasn't missing this to begin with and now I'm eating the mushroom version of it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother to let Arya try this. He doesn't like deviled eggs and he's not gonna like this. I know it. I think overall, if, if deviled eggs are your thing, you probably would really like this. It's definitely worth a try because it's so easy. And other than the black salt, it's pretty accessible to almost anyone, right? Like. The ingredients are fairly straightforward, so I don't want someone to miss out on it just because it's not really my thing. I would say if you're someone who loves deviled eggs, this will probably be up your alley. Don't over soak your mushrooms. They take on too much of the juice and they become slimy. If you want to make like a chickpea, like egg salad sandwich, I feel like this could also be really good for that. I would use this in a wrap in a heartbeat around a sandwich, but for this, I don't think they need it. I wasn't really looking for it, but it found me kind of thing. So overall, I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. The mushrooms themselves get like a five out of 10. The chickpea mixture gets closer to like a seven out of 10. I think this is really tasty. I just don't think it's for me. So if you love deviled eggs, get after it, enjoy it. You're probably gonna love it. Eva Longoria and Monique love it. So, you know, so anyway, it's not like Tabitha let us down. This one just isn't for me. I should have known better, honestly. I was just like really curious about the mushroom element of it and like what the texture would be. If you don't care about deviled eggs, spoiler alert, you're still not gonna care. And in fact, they might scare you. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. And thank you so much for watching. I will pop the original video in the description. If you wanna watch Tab do it, she's peaceful and wonderful and just fun to watch do anything, honestly. If you wanna hang out with me in between videos, I've got a Discord, I have Instagram, TikTok. We've got a podcast that comes out every Monday. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I will bid you adieu.